So like I promised, I'm, I'll make a valve adjustment video. Uh, so you probably would have started by removing your cover on the back there. And uh, so we're taking a uh, feeler gauge like this. And as you can see, this is a .007. That's what you want. Uh, now this is probably for like this kind of mower, but look up your uh, specs for your uh, lawnmower engine. They're all different. So uh, go look up online, Google, just type in your model number and then just t type in valve, uh, just valve adjustment and you usually will find something. So, or if you have a manual in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to stick this in between the valves here. As you can see, this one, wow, we got a lot of play. As you can see, I can move that back and forth like that. Like just the valve itself. Uh, not The rocker arm is supposed to be loose like that. They're normal to sit like that, but as you can see. Now this one here, I don't even think I can even fit the feeler in there. It's too tight. So uh, first of all, just just reminds me I do had mine set at uh, top dead center but to do that you just take like something like this stick it in there and uh, rotate the engine until you feel the piston come all the way up uh, and you know want to make sure you're on your fire stroke and uh, up till it comes all the way up and to the top and uh, rotate it until you can feel it that it's going that way and then that way and you try to get in the center so that's how you know you're top dead center it's a pretty easy way so next, what we're going to do, stick the feeler gauge in between there. We'll start by adjusting the really loose one first. So you're going to loosen up the little nut in the center with a screwdriver or wherever it comes. Sometimes adjustments here, it's pretty similar, but uh, a little different. So you're just going to rub this in here, and then you're just going to actually, sometimes you may even be able to tighten it down with your hand, and I can. And you just want to do that until it starts to feel tighter and tighter. And as you can see, I probably didn't loosen up this one in the center here enough because it's, it's stopping there and it wasn't getting any tighter. So as you can see, it's starting to get pretty stiff until you feel a little bit of tension on between the, in between the feeler gauge and the valve. That's when you know you're at uh, the right tension. So what we're going to do now while we're doing that, we are going to carefully tighten up. Now see, look what I just did there. I just rotated this one here, so now we're off center. Uh, so you want to try to hold this real carefully and still while tightening down the center. You can actually even pull your feeler out. Uh, hold it like, perfectly still. Really get your fingers wrapped around there. Very careful not to move that bolt. That's just kind of how I do it. Uh, you could just do it by holding a wrench there and stuff and or just keeping a feeler gauge in there. I just usually just find it just easy to just do your best at holding it still. Then you want, after you get it tightened, stick your valve down in there. Still got the little bit of tension. It feels a little bit looser than, I mean, it's still a little tension on, but like just a hair of it. And you want it just to have not a whole lot of tension that you can't even move the valve, but not too little uh, because then you're still off adjustment so I made it just a tad tighter and that's right on there so and that was all the way tightened so make it there and right on maybe just a little bit more than what we tensioned and what we perfectly need but this is actually probably the best actually maybe not maybe that is perfect so do want a little tension but it's a lawnmower, so, you know, just keep any, you just want to keep them adjusted so that way you don't blow your valve seals or anything. So, we're testing the tension on there. This one was a little bit tighter, but now it's looser, and we want it there. So, pull the valve out, hold the nut up, it was right there by it. Air. I shouldn't should readjust it again because sometimes this one's pretty good, but sometimes like you just move them like just even the hair and the valve all of a sudden gets so much tighter. And that's too tight, definitely. Can't fit the feeler in there. And just a little bit on the tight side, so we'll just pull out there. Now we're at 
about the right amount of tension there. So, like I said, just carefully hold the bolt and tighten it down. You got about the right amount of tension there. So, they were a little off and uh, now they're back on. Well, they're actually pretty far off, so hopefully you shouldn't have any valve ticking. Uh, you may drip a little oil out, so you want to get a pan and stuff underneath there when you first get your cover off. And then next you want to put your cover back on. Uh, I couldn't find anything for torque recommendation here. None of these bolts felt like they were torqued. They just came right off, so I'm just going to give them about the right feel of torque. Uh, but that's how to adjust the valves. Uh, most engines, you'll probably have a torque on the valve screws are usually around six foot pounds, so that's what you want to look for. Uh, since I don't have a ratchet with me here, I couldn't find a freaking 10 millimeter socket. Uh, just put them all in crisscross pattern, and then uh, torque them down to six foot pounds if it really, if you really need it. Also, replace your gasket. I, I'm not on this side, but this mower is pretty new, so, I mean, not real new, but pretty new, like, usually really old ones, the gaskets will kind of break and stuff, uh, and get real damaged. This is fine, there's no pressure on there, no compression or anything that goes onto that gasket, so, you should be fine. If it leaks oil, then you can replace the gasket. 